Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nicholas, and I am doing something that I have never done before, and that is getting on the mic and doing meditation and speaking live. Before we get started, I'd like for you to find somewhere nice and comfortable and make sure you have headphones in. Now once you've found a place to get comfortable, I want you to close your eyes and go through a body check of relaxation through the mental intention set with your mind. We can start with our arms and tell them to relax. Think of your fingers and tell them to relax. Then you can move down to your legs, your toes. Release the tension in your neck, your ears. Let your face relax. You want to be almost weightless, completely relaxed, as if in a deep slumber. Now slowly increase your breath. Now as you are relaxed and breathing slowly, with each breath, think of something positive. Maybe a positive symbol in your life or symbols, different events from your life that just overwhelms you with joy and gratitude. Now, as you begin to think about these positive things in your life, take deep breaths in and hold that mental image and release. Let gravity do the work on the exhale. Good. Take another deep breath in and hold that mental image that warm embrace, that smell that almost hurts, or that laughter that brings tears of joy to your eyes. And continue to breathe. It is okay if you feel tension come back into your body. Tell it to relax again. This is a mental process of getting to know your body. That mental body connection on a more intimate level with self. As you sink in to your surroundings, holding these happy, grateful thoughts. As you're thinking of all these warm thoughts, With each breath you bring up comes new energy from the bottom to the top. And when you exhale, you release any negativity in your body. Stress, anxiety, all unwanted things leave with every exhale. And every inhale, you bring in more happy thoughts. Now think of your future. It truly is bright. With every breath, it's a new blessing in your future coming true now. Let me prove it. I'm going to take you on a journey through light and sound. And I will illustrate many things to you that I have found within myself While you're in this relaxed state of mind, please enjoy the journey. Eight months ago, I had never done meditation in my life. I had never sat still long enough for something like this to even happen. It was warm thoughts 
and harmonic music that caused me to go through an awakening. Deep breaths and warm thoughts in a relaxed body releases all the negative toxins. You begin to feel lighter. You begin to feel younger in your imagination. For me, I saw a supernova as I took flight into outer space when I left my body in meditation. I took a trip around the galaxy and I experienced many things from nebulas to black holes and even our own sun. I witnessed the moon up close, Saturn and Jupiter. I watched worlds be torn apart and put back together. I made a trip around the solar system before I came back home. The symbolism of the universe is written inside of you. It's in our DNA, encoded in light. We are the masters of this universe. That's why we have conscious thoughts. We are the rarest and most precious of them all. This is a very warm thought. I visioned the sun and the moon in a beautiful dance, bringing new life to earth and nurturing so nice. My meditations can quite literally take you to many places, but that is the thing when you release control over your thoughts and just feel what you are feeling and observe it as an observer. Detached from the material world, you are free to roam all the dimensions created in your mental dome. The sound frequencies correlate with the angel numbers because that's God's divine words. It is the frequency and the tone. That's why words can be so tricky. As you continue to breathe and listen to my voice, I'm shifting gears now and we're looking at brain waves and sound frequencies together. If you were to levitate, what type of brain wave would best match the frequency? A slow brain wave has high peaks and low lows. But the highest frequency of all, the God frequency, is the smoothest on the top. The angelic sounds surely are uplifting. So if you needed to travel fast, light speed fast, then you would want to skim across the top. Up there, it's beautiful. Nothing but harmony. Everything is peaceful. You are weightless. If you imagine DNA like a sound wave, but it has been twisted in time, stretched across many generations, from the side, you can see the parallel universe of left and right. But perhaps if you could travel to the end of said DNA and look through it like a pipe, then you would see the double helix as it twists like patterns, overlapping patterns, overlapping patterns for generations to come. Then you can see the sacred geometry and the universe inside of you. You are created in the image of the creator. That makes you 
the co-creator of the universe continue to breathe as these thoughts reverberate through your mind as you uplift and ascend through the different frequency waves going higher towards the light seeking divine love and feeling there is nothing sweeter than the angelic voices who guide you on this way they are here pointing you in the right direction and it's always pointing north In my meditations, I have seen many things. The symbolism of man and how so many, so many things have changed. I witnessed the star going supernova, a star being born. I witnessed the fallen angel falling from heaven and then being reborn. He spent his life on earth and had to learn all over and become an earth angel to regain his wings so he could fly again. If you get emotional during your meditations, it's quite all right. I know you can hear it in my voice, but I recovered very fast. The human condition is a very unique thing. It's very hard to explain. That much is in tr indeed true. But meditations really is more about getting in touch with the inner part of you. Your future and your past converges in the present. That's why when you uplift yourself, it feels like heaven. Because you leave the past negativity behind and you search for the happy truths of your purpose in life. And only can you find that seeking God's advice, the inner you, the co-creator who creates with him. That's who you're talking to. In that moment, when the words answer back, when you ask the question, who am I? And then he says, to whom ask the question? Congratulations, you have spoken to your creator inside. I like to think of this human experience as earth school. In light of the meditation, the birth of a star, the fall of an angel, To learn to become an earth angel and to gain your wings back makes you a wing seer. As you ascend back up that ladder, back to home where you belong in the heavens and the stars, this truly is an experience of God daydreaming and playing theater. It's truly magnificent when you see everything from his point of view and you ascend back up that ladder with your wings spread wide open. You're connecting back to the omniconscious and the oneness of everything. Continue to take deep breaths. This journey is quite amazing. Only those who allow themselves to be free with their imagination, detach from the worldly things, the material things that bind us to our bodies. Once you leave on an astral projection, you will gain new knowledge, see new heights, learn new things, that you could not explain before. Your visions will be like pictograms or hieroglyphics written in Egypt. You begin to see the patterns of all life 
in all creation. You begin to understand how the sound vibrations can lift your soul or the distorted sounds can push you down back below. Take a deep breath. The journey is to know thyself from the inside out. You have two voices, the inner voice and the outer. When your inner voice is in sync with your outer voice, you become very powerful. You become very confident and very strong. You begin to change your reality once you are aware of this alignment factor. Take a deep breath and let it sink in slowly and let it back out. The mental image, the formless eye in the center, which is your imagination or intuition as some might call it, is the place where he speaks to us all, where we are connected, sending and receiving transmissions across the universe. We are all connected and we are all divinely guided and different paths, walks and angles of light. The grand scale of the universe is truly magnificent. One must only look from a higher perspective to feel great gratitude for this experience. As I sit here talking, I am getting many rounds of chills just thinking about sharing this journey with you in hopes that you might understand how much better life can be from a higher perspective. Love is kind. Love is accepting. Love forgives and always makes you feel good, makes you feel nice, makes you feel calm, and makes you feel like you're in heaven. Love is the most powerful vibration there is of all. When you operate from love, you can manifest anything you desire. All it takes is the feeling of gratitude, appreciation, and a comforting thought. Couple that with the feelings you feel from these very warm thoughts. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Use your imagination and think of these type things on a much grander scale in your future. As you think about the future, you realize you're in the present right now. Congratulations, you just went to the future and now you're back in the present with the emotions of now. My friends, this is how you shift your reality and raise your vibration. You imagine the future of your dreams in heaven and realize you have it now in the present. Don't let your eyes and your reality around you deceive you. If you can feel it now, then it's not the future, it's the present. Imagination is one of the most powerful tools God gave us for creation. It's how we manifest everything from the inside to the out. When you look around and you begin to realize that everything not made of the earth was made from man. And before man made it, it was in the imagination in his mind. He manifests his thoughts into 3D reality. 
This is how you transform your imagination outwardly, expressing your heart and soul's desire, its purpose as a creator on earth, expressing its desires for love and joy and unity of all. What is encoded in your DNA is the brightest light of them all. The universal code locked away inside of you. The most precious thing the Creator gave us is truly inside of you.